From the look on Mike's face, that little chick's at stake. Hey, what do you thought it would be? So, Mike, give you one more. Get a set time for. Yeah, it's four Ooh. times the steak. Four times the thick cuts of juicy marinated succulent steak. We all say, wow, that's like a whole honking cow. What is it, Mike? What steak? It's four times the steak. Four times the steak. Four times the steak. Welcome to our second Founders Friday. Seems like America, for some reason or another, is interested now in our founding fathers and meeting who they really, truly are. Tonight, um, I want to introduce you, well, first of all, meet my friends. The audience is here, and uh, we're going to have them talk to some of the experts that we have about George Washington and ask the questions that, uh, you know, you probably have. He was a revered figure. He was, that's my favorite painting of him. He was a revered figure. He was a guy, this was actually a painting done on the, um, just on the words of one of the, I think it was a farmer, if I'm not mistaken. A farmer came into the field one day and heard some noise and heard him standing there or in the field and he just watched him as he got down in Valley Forge on one knee and he prayed all by himself. He's a guy that in the end could have been made king he could have been made a ruler he's a guy who could have been really upset at congress boy oh boy valley forge i mean when you think of valley forge and how many times it wasn't just one year that they were cold and didn't have shoes they didn't have pants i'm obsessed with those bricks in george washington's throat with those people he swallows with legs wagging out of his mouth and pilots crying as his claws slide through another airliner. George Washington's tail carves mountainsides and parts rivers. His pincers tear through your nightgowns. I want those nightgowns. I want your hair in my piggy bank after he pulls it out like a ripcord. George Washington opens library accounts and keeps books checked out long past their due date. He spelled racism in the sand at the beach. He roars after your harpoon tickles his stomach. Everyone wears ugly sweaters. Yes, I believe him. I believe George Washington. They didn't have pants. I leave out everything in my will because George Washington has already entered my chest. George Washington rubbed his fangs against my heart. Now I have no more reasons to eat tacos. Now I won't leave you waiting in the bear trap anymore. I find it hard not to kiss you after George Washington nibbles on your forehead, after his tongue drags into your skull. George Washington comes, he makes his way. He'll, He'll save, save children, but not the British children. He throws your handbells and sneakers into my paws and I rub them over my face. He flings his tail into your mouth, and cherry trees rip out of your back like defective wings. Uh, pardon me, uh, can you tell me exactly how many cherry trees you have in this orchard of yours? 1776. I hatch each one. I pull the roots out of your spine. I make fire. I wait for smoke. I inhale it until I can't breathe. Until George Washington Hawkeyes me during his flight until his talons crack my throat. Reporting live from George Washington's base, Ryan Burton. We've never gone back to that story. How many things do you think are true that aren't? And what does it mean for the course of our country? Four times a state, four times a state. 